Hi everyone, Scott here again. In this video, we're going to be doing Cisco Packet Tracer Activity 4.6.1.3. It's a skills integration challenge, analyzing the application and transport layers. And basically what we've got set up for us when we open the activity is this partial network. And so we have computer PC 1A that has lost its connection to the network. So we're going to have to reestablish that. And we've got a new server. We've either replaced the old server or we're putting a new one in. In any case, we'll need to get this server configured properly so we have data communication throughout the entire network. So to get started, we can take a look at what we have physically on the network that's working. Um, computer 1B here. And we can take a look at how it's set up. So we have a DNS server here that it's already looking for. So we can use that as our Eagle server and enable DNS on it. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First, let's go ahead and cable it up. Our server over to this router, R1. And so we have red, so we're obviously not configured properly. And in fact, we're not even turned on. So to turn this server on, we have the scroll bar. We'll go all the way to the right and hit our power button. And turn our server on. If it's brand new, we should probably do that. Then we should be able to go in and configure it. So we know we have an IP address for it, and it'll automatically configure our subnet mask for us. And we're going to want to turn on HTTP and DNS. And we will need to add a new record into our DNS here. We should have the Eagle server example.com that address should be the server's address so we'll add that to our records if I could spell properly get that added incorrectly that time we'll make sure DNS and HTTP are both on and that we have a default gateway for this router so we know where our data needs to go out. Right to that port on the router. So we can figure our gateway there. And our server should be set up now for at least basic data communication. So then we just need to finish configuring PCA here to work on the network. So we need to get it physically connected first. And then we want to take a look at its configuration. So we're not showing gateway, DNS server, or any IP settings. So let's go ahead and get that set up here. We have the IP address for our gateway, our router gateway there. So we'll set that up on A. And we'll be using the same DNS server. We'll just double check. So we do have the same DNS server for both A and B here. And then we're going to want to actually get its IP address set up. If we look at B, we have 172.16.1.2. I'm going to assume that B came after A. And we'll set A up as 172.16.1.1. And it'll, pre it'll configure our subnet mask for us. All right. Now we should be able to check our data communications between these. This first one might fail, just the way they have the software set up. Run it a second time, and we should succeed. So that shows us that they're configured and communicating correctly across this network. So now the other portion of this packet tracer, we're going to go over to simulation mode. We're going to go ahead and delete that scenario set up right there. 
So we want to have our filter set up for DNS, UDP, HTTP, TCP, and ICMP. So all five of those are good. And from 1A, we're going to open a web browser. And we're going to have it browse to the Eagle server that we set up that record on our DNS. And we can see that it's getting started there, so we'll just set it to auto capture forward. And we can watch that packet go through the network to the server. it going from each device to the next and then tracing that route back to get, bring data back to PC1A. And if we wanted we could go look into each one of these and see how that packet's being handled across each device. So we can see our destination IP is that server so as long as that's encoded or encapsulated into this data packet each device will look for the next forward or the next hop to forward that until it reaches the server. And we have that destination port 53, which we've covered a couple of times um, as the DNS port basically. So the server knows data coming in there is DNS looking for this name. see it going as UDP. And then it'll transfer over as TCP to set up that three-way handshake, which we've covered in one of our other videos. So we can see how all of these things are interacting to get DNS and then set up communications and then transfer data back and eventually to terminate data flow. And the end result is that our web page should be loaded. And that's pretty much it for this packet tracer, so hopefully I will see you in my next video.